Hello, me fix everything. And if you have a problem with your LPG conversion, that's why you're watching this video. This car is misfiring badly. When I'm accelerating, it just doesn't have an all power. And the main thing that this problem can be is either spark plugs or the ignition coil, or it could be an injector, which usually is the spark plug. So we're gonna replace the spark plugs. And under the description of the video, because I don't have time to make a another video we'll see if that fixes the problem so to replace the spark plugs <coughs> most engine is very easy if you have a v6 or something like that can be or a subaru can be very difficult but for most of them it's just a matter of pulling a few cables or undoing the coil we are gonna undo the coil here and we'll see the condition of the spark plugs. By the condition of the spark plugs, you can see if your car is burning oil or if the mixture is bad. I know that this car is a bit lean on the mixture, but I don't have the time to adjust the software, so I'm just driving it like that. But with good spark plugs, it doesn't have no problem. So we disconnected the coil on this side, we'll pull the coil up. We'll look for any cracks, you want to see if there is any cracks here or any cracks on the on the coil pack. You can't see no cracks, usually they're difficult to see but they don't look bad, not too bad. Okay, now this is a size number 10 spark plugs, I think it's 17 millimeters. I'm replacing the spark plugs every time the starts have to um, <clears throat> not behave good and you can see here this can you it's not going to zoom is it ah there we go if you see this on the side of your spark plugs it means it's gone that's the easiest way to determine otherwise there is a special tool that you need to check it. It's so inexpensive to replace spark plugs that it's not even worth it to be thinking is it time to change them because you can just change them. Okay. This one is very white, so it's a bit lean onto the spark plug. Maybe I can adjust the to make the things a bit more richer and these spark plugs are way too tight maybe I got them too tight the last time I was replacing them on a hot engine <coughs> this one a bit too lean as well These are Bosch made in China. I'm replacing them with Dentsu made in uh, Indonesia by... Uh, I got a little bit of greenish color as well. By Japanese Supervision, that's what it says in the box. If you want to see the spark plugs up close, you can check my other video. So it's good to tighten up by hand a little bit and then tie it to the ratchet. On the box here it says half a turn that it needs. So something like, like that. After it's tight, this one to the floor.
old spark plugs. Take them with you for the first hundred kilometers. You never know. I had once a spark plug. I think it was um, I don't remember. Maybe that's or NGK. And completely snapped. From the pressure, it blew off the ceramic bit, and it was bad. So just from safety, especially if you're going outside the town. Good. Let's fit the coil back in. Press it nicely. You want all five bolts or four bolts or how many bolts you have to be evenly uh, tight and they all to be in a position because some of them some of them are important and there is pressure on the top so not like pressure but you don't want anything to blow up like with my case. It blows so at least was holding all the bits in. There we go, that's changed. I'm gonna put the cable in. Now I'm gonna start the car and see how it behaves. So I drive the car the last 300 and uh, no 400 kilometers, around 250 miles. Didn't have not even once a misfire, so it's all good. I don't know for how long though, because it's just the first 300 miles with these parallax, but the parallax were the problem. Um, uh, that's it, just replace the Sparaplex and you're gonna be good to go in most of the cases. Hope the video has been helpful to you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.